Hey, good morning. This is Ray. What a beautiful day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to talk about another use of that oil where we mentioned in Psalm 23, anointed my head with oil. Right before that, it says, you make me to feast in the presence of my enemies. Well, that was because oil was used as well. You see, over where David was when he wrote the psalm, there was another enemy of the sheep. Vipers. Snakes. Snakes love to get in those little grass patches in the middle of the desert and to bury down and make a hole and they just go bury and get in the cool. And the grass was used for shade for them. The only problem, when the sheep would come along, they would be eating the grass. The vipers would poke out of them hole and bite them on the nose, bite them on the cheek, causing infection and sometimes death. And so the shepherd, he would have to go and he would survey the area first looking for any snake holes. And if he found a snake hole, he would pour some olive oil down in the snake hole. The same oil that he used to anoint the head. Why? Because the olive oil made it might near impossible for the viper to slither up and slither out. In other words, the olive oil made it too slippery for the snake to come bury its teeth. And the good shepherd, he knows in our life that there's vipers right in the middle of the green pasture that he's provided for us. Little things, sins, big things, sin, sitting ready to launch itself up and to bite us as we graze upon the great grass that he's provided. However, the good shepherd, he goes and he pours in the olive oil into the holes, making it might near impossible for those snakes to come up and to bury their teeth into us. What a wonderful shepherd we serve. He allows us to feast, literally, in the presence of our enemy. Now go enjoy the shepherd. I'll see you soon.